Hello and welcome. This is Angie with TheCountrySheetCottage.net here today with another Cricut Basics video. So what are Cricut Basics? Cricut Basics are the little bitty things in Cricut Design Space that you might not know how to do and I'm going to show you right here in small videos. So we've done a ton of these and you can scroll back on our YouTube channel to find those. Have a question about Cricut Design Space? Leave it below and I will definitely leave a comment with the video if we have one. So today we're going to cover SVG files and how to use those on your iOS device. So I'm actually going to be using my iPad, but the same techniques would work on your iPhone or any iOS operating device. So what is an SVG file? A SVG file, we share those regularly on the countrysheetcottage.net. We share free ones all the time. And it's a file that is basically a series of commands that tells Cricut Design Space to make letters and shapes and things like that. So there's a lot of benefits to an SVG file, the main one being that you can make them in any size. So once I give you the file, you can make huge cut files with it or little bitty ones and you won't use any, lose any of that resolution. Plus, some of the cut files are pretty cute. So how do you get those from the countrysheetcottage.net on my blog to Cricut Design Space on your iPad or iPhone? Here we go, we're gonna go through the steps. Please note that you'll need iOS 11 or later for these steps to work. In versions prior to that, it's a little bit more difficult. So we're gonna go with the easy one. So update that iPad or iPhone before you start to iOS 11 or above to get these steps to work. So here we go, let's do it. Start wherever you get your file from. In this case, I started on an email and I clicked the download link and then it opened up a zip file. I'm going to save this to files on my iPad and then I'm just going to pick a location where I can find it later so the location doesn't really matter and then you're going to open up the files open up that zip and drill down to find the SVG so sometimes the zip can contain a JPEG or a ping and you don't want that you will actually want the SVG and then you are going to save that SVG to files as well so just scroll over save to files and again put it in a place where you can find it later then you can open up Cricut Cricut Design Space, click New Project, click Upload, Upload from the files, and pick that SVG file. Just be sure not to pick the zip file and to pick the SVG. You can then name it whatever you want, and it will appear in your uploads forever. So you can absolutely use it anytime you need it from that uploads area. So then when it's in the uploads area, you just pick it to add it to your canvas, and then you can cut it out of whatever material you want right in Cricut Design Space. So just pick it from your uploads, click insert, and now it's on your canvas, it's ready to cut. So it's pretty easy, and then you can use those SVG files to cut right in Cricut Design Space, right from your iPad or iPhone via Bluetooth. So if you don't know, your Cricut machine will work via Bluetooth, and you can use it just on mobile all the time. You can also use it on a computer, and you can use it on Android. So in future editions of Cricut Basics, we'll be covering the steps for using those SVG files both on your computer as well as on Android. So I hope you've enjoyed this and will use your SVG files on your iOS operating device using the steps indicated. So if you have any questions about this, leave them below. Give us a thumbs up on YouTube if you like this. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the future edition of Cricut Basics. We cover the basics of Cricut Design Space, including things like uploading SVG files to various platforms. So thank you all so much for joining me today, and I will see you next week with a fun Cricut video. Thanks, bye.